history. And a history is only 6,000 years old for him. So why would we have to renew our history to 25,000 years if the devil wasn't here 50,000 years ago? And of course, you were teaching, he just got here 6,000 years ago. He wasn't no problem. How do we have the devil in Mecca before the devil? Lost his name. How do we have dissatisfaction in Mecca before the devil was there to be dissatisfied? If we were all gods at that time, the original gods of the same Where does the dissatisfaction come from? You know what it's coming from? Misinformation. Things. Oh. Let me tell you what they want you to know. They want you to know that you have been tricked. You understand? Who have you been tricked by? <coughs> no, not everybody. They want you to know that the people that you've been hating are the wrong people. They all taught you to hate blonde, hair, blue-eyed people. Got that? Blonde hair, blue-eyed people is who they want you to hate. And all the hate teachers that they call talk to that same principle. I want you to name one blonde haired blue eyed person in history that did you some harm. Not a one. The Portuguese brought the ones of y'all who came here from Africa here. You understand? The French are responsible for the destruction of the minds of the Moors. This you really ain't gonna like. They even gave you the name more. You think it's your name. Mm. We take you back there. You want to go? Yeah. Yeah. Go in. Go in. Go in. Don't hit me for the truth, please. Oh, no. no Just that. you. There is no Arabic word more. This word does not exist in Arabic. This word does not exist in Arabic. Now that I put a W for a reason. For my own record, W. This word, M-O-O-R, M-U-U-R, does not exist in Arabic. Some people say, and I've heard it, well, named Hakeem, who calls himself the Minister of Information for the Moy Science Temple. I wish I could get to talk to him. <laughs> I don't mean that, well, I don't mean it that way. I mean it because he's a fiery young brother who means well, he just is misinformed. And, and people who know, know it and they're not for help. He might not like my approach. Most people don't. But I'm, not, I'm here just to like wrong. I'm not here to like. Right. You ain't gotta like it, but thank you very much. First of all, this word, more, comes from the Latino word. Does anybody in here speak Spanish? Thank you. The word moreno means black. Moreno. The word mar means sea. Mar is the ancient Latin word for sea. That's M A R. That is not navigation. That is not navigator. You understand? Moors were not the navigators. The Malians were the navigators. Under Kang Kang, Mansa Musa. They were the navigators that built the ship. The Timbuktu. They moved north to put the Anglo Saxons and the front out of what was what is called today Maghrebi. Maghrebi. Say Maghrebi. And the Muslim world will tell you, that's the name they call Morocco, Maghrebi will tell you that that relates to the prayer of Salat al dealing with the sun setting. But the root of the word is Rada. Rada. Rain. Rock. Bat. Rada. And it means a raven. A black bird. A raven. Identified in songs of Solomon or with Solomon's hair. Black like a raven's hair. Solomon had black, straight hair. Solomon was light-skinned like one of our Latino brothers, Ken Solomon. He was not dark skin with woolly hair. Go back and read your Bible. It says his belly was like ivory. And his hair was like locks of a raven. A raven's hair is smooth and shiny like his feathers. Not coarse and woolly. You understand that? Because David violated the law and married through his daughter, a hit. 
Christ. When you go to the day of crucifixion in your Bible, Psalm, what? 42, you know. The word of God means raving. That's why they don't want you to use Mazzini. They want you to call yourself more. The word Mohenno is Latin. Latin was used by the Romans. You understand? The Romans are the ones who invaded France. The Trump are a combination of Roman, German, Celtic. Yes, all that? Now imagine, France does not have its own nationality. It's a collaboration of Caucasians who have black or brown hair and dark eyes, not blonde hair and blue eyes, like the original Anglos and Saxons from Albino, the original name of the sea in Britain, because they were albinos. If they were albinos, they still were Caucasian. Hello, come on with it. Changing the teachers, when that's why I put out a what about the lesson? 
What about what he taught? You have all this other stuff you teach, all this new stuff. What about what he taught? And when we get to the bottom of all of that, what is it going to do for us? As a people. And people are like, what are y'all doing? You mean, you mean the Wapi Indians? What are we doing? We're doing what our name implies. I'll bring it to you in Arabic first. The English phrase, na wa ba or known wild bear, from where they get the word nebi, for prophet. Number one, for one who has a vision to predict the future. The word Nawabian is a plural form of that, nebi Those people who are messengers themselves, you are not getting a message from the angel Gabriel. You are getting a message from our Elohim that will make you an angel Gabriel. You don't know how to name my baby. You only men in the presence of other men raised up for you. But in the presence of a God incarnate, you're not a man, you become an angel. And they don't want to go that far. They want to give you a good comment about that. When I say, hey, God incarnate, I mean you also to be raised to Godhood. You gotta be aspiring to perfect your being. Really? Come on with it. Come on with it. It's more than just stopping at a religious man in the lesser mystery. And worshiping sticks and idols and kabas and saying you're not. And worshiping, worshiping apparitions and idol and idly worshiping. Sitting around worshiping nothing and saying you worship the worshiping ghosts and spirits. Bickering mobs and nothing happening. Or being of the nature of the 5%. Worshiping a man who's been dead. A good brother. A sincere brother in what he was doing, but he is dead. dead. You with me? Yeah. So he can't answer your questions anymore. Go ahead. Master Prophet Muhammad and Elijah and Muhammad both are. Yeah. Can't answer your questions anymore. You understand what I'm saying? But Yahweh, Yahweh was in the street. He wasn't asking questions. Yeah. Because he can't. He didn't do this. He didn't sit down for you. And yeah. say five people out. It says the tabernacles of who? The tabernacles of 
and this land of life. The tabernacle of Edom. Now, what does Edom mean in the Bible? It means red. It was not red. Watch out. Watch out. From where they get watch out. From a French word, oh, she from Nat, she touch. You had right. Nat touch. A name American tribe in Nat touch. From the ocean, we get what she talk. It means of the red soil. The same name as Eden. Same as the same name. This is how our teachers must walk with us. They can't just walk with us with big words. They got to go to the blackboard and show. They got to go to the scripture and show you the place. They got to break down the words and take you by your hand and walk you step by step across that burning thing. And when you reach that great arch and you look up at that cornerstone and want to make that step from darkness into light, you know when you get on the other side, everything you see is about you. Yeah. Come on, man. There's no thing making you walk that path that when you get on top, don't find up standing there. <laughs> don't tell me about no star and crescent. You've been fooled. China's going to call it a star and crescent. They call it the core of the core of the Bengal Tiger out of India, where the Great Lodge is at, in the whole Pakistan, where all your Pakistani Qurans are coming from. And on the altar in the whole Pakistan, in that Great Lodge, there is a Quran. Because it begins with a B. And <laughs> in London, where the Anglican Church is, Yes, where the Bible, holy as it may be called, sits on the altar. It sits there because it begins with a B. And in Israel, Israel today, where they're meeting in the stolen room, room of privacy, the broken dagger room of privacy, where they fell back on the skull and souls was ripped out from darkness back to light. The Tanakh or the Torah that sits on the altar in the lodge in Tel Aviv begins with a B. The 13th stone, the cornerstone. Who is called the cornerstone? Jesus. Jesus is called the cornerstone. The chief cornerstone is depicted in Rome as an arch. The 13th. But in our great field, it's depicted as a pyramid with the cornerstone changed into the eye of all who know of either Hobbes, Horus, or Osiris, both being under the eye of Rock, who became the other of all your churches. Amen. I mean, amen. A brother said to me that the pyramid on the back of the dollar bill was the great seal of the morning changes. I said, well, it sounds nice, thank you, Haki. It sounds nice, however, why are we using an Egyptian pyramid if you're talking about people that were indigenous of America? Why didn't they put an American pyramid back there? There are pyramids here in America. We are the original mound builders. That's why I strategically brought you here. Yeah. Yes, last month, Geographic Magazine, we repeated an article about the Eagle Rock Mound built by you. It's less than 15 minutes from here. Close as I could get without being in the box. <laughs> <laughs> and on the top of that mound, and out of the water, saw they have a picture in the magazine right in front they showed you. They said, that's one of the greatest symbols, the eagle. Oh, that eagle. Huh? That's called what in Native American culture? The great spirit. They take all your prayers and messages through the stars, but it soared to heaven. It became adapted as an American symbol from the Phoenix. And the Phoenix comes from where they got the job. You with me? 
And why they use the dog? <laughs> Spirit. They use the dog because the dog, when you take it and put it inside your bosom, goes into a coma state. It goes to sleep. Did you know that? Oh, that's why magicians use the dog. Because they put a dove in their hat, now go buy a pet, go buy a pet shop and ask them find out what they're trying to do. They put a dove out of the sun's light, it goes into a coma state and refuses to move. If you pull it out, it comes to life and flies. It's your resurrection story. And they chose a white dove in Christianity when doves come in all kinds of colors and speckles, including dark brown, all tones. And they, they, they chose a descending dove coming down to light upon Jesus to remain with him forever. Going nowhere. Going to sleep. All of these are the mystery. That's why that eagle is there. That mound a landing point when the cracks come. I'm already. I'm already. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm start standing around there. <laughs> That don't mean what they start there when they overboard you're doing because <laughs> you might get zapped by the Anunnaki because they see your life, not your body. They see whether or not you are setting off a positive, pure, green light, the essence of all life on this planet, or you setting out an amber light. So you better remember Independence Day, all them fools who got up on that roof who thought just because they put on extraterrestrial costumes and say welcome, they got zapped. Don't think you can't get zapped if you're out there doing all kinds of devilishment and think they're going to take you with them home. Ain't nobody taking those drunken, stunken drunk people home with them. Why should they take you back to risk so you can mess their planet up? And bring your music and your loudness and your voices and your talk and your bad habits? Why should they? Muslims ain't going nowhere. He was like, you always told us 144,000 Muslims. Right, the hands saw the law community, I said. Nobody knows. Oh, so he's singing about them. Them people messed up in the head. That's not Islam. That's spookism. That ain't reality. That ain't science. We're about science. Now, you can say more than science, but yes, the Portuguese did call us in Portuguese Morenos. Now, the word negra. Come on with it. Where's it at? Come on with it. Open the Bible to Acts, chapter 13, verse 1. And you'll find that they were calling the followers of Barnabas, Jesus' the original disciples, they were calling them niggas then. Right in your Bible. Come on, man. You got that Bible again? <laughs> Acts 13, 1. <laughs> Come on, bro, bring it out. You got one? Acts 13, one, let my brother read it. Good. Yeah. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch, there were prophets and teachers, as Barnabas and Simon, that was called niggers and Lucius in your Bible. <laughs> and the Greek word there is nigger, with three E's. <laughs> nigger. The Greeks called them niggas in. No, nigger didn't come from the Niger River. No, nigger didn't just come from that. You know, people say nigger. No, it's back in the Bible. They were calling Jesus' the disciples niggers. It's a wrong one. You know what it is? Right in the Bible, you look up in Greek, you know what the hell is? Black. Another one of those terms they keep giving us. But we are not black. When you look at Osiris and Ra in ancient Egypt, they're coming down green. Why are the deities green? Go back and look at the book. Look at Pat, the name of Egypt on the wall. Look at Tar, that's his name, Tar, Pat. Look at Osea, Osiris, and you'll see that they're green. They're not black. They're not brown. They're green. Before the poison. Before the iron of this atmosphere through the air got into your body and oxidized and rust you into brown. You could scream about being brown and all that kind of stuff. When you wasn't even brown. You think that's not that's why a man makes so much fun of the green I mean the green marshes are coming? <laughs> Every time that man plays a trick like that, you leave it there's some truth in it. He's talking about you. That's the other point that I got so many. I got 76 trillion years of information. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only supposed to be about 25 to 40 years. Ago. I got to cram it all in in 30 years. But back to the whole original, the original point, 
This is a French name. The tribe was the Shoshone. The Shoshone Nubian tribe. Why? Because Ben York's name was not Ben York. That was a name given to him. Son of York. His father's name was Ali. I know. It's my grandpa. <laughs> on my mother's side. They came here from Mali. You understand that? And was taken into slavery because he spoke all the dialects of the different tribes who came here. The Native American tribes that are here came because of a Chinaman named Ho Shen. When he got here, he met people that were already here. Woolly hair, dark skinned people that they call the Kachina. They also call them the Hopi from the Egyptian deity Hopi. And they marry and live with them in peace. And they produce what you see today as Orientals with slant eyes and round faces and light skin and straight hair. The giveaway is understanding the science of hair, nine the highest number. The Zodiac does not have 12 signs. They didn't find the last two plants until after the 18th century. They couldn't have had 12 signs of Zodiac back in the biblical times. They only had six months in the year. That's why they made a mistake and said Jesus was born in the year one. Because he was born in the month of June. No ruler. They called him on God. So these people came over here, these Chinese, the same as Hope Shan, look it up. Sailed to California, mixed in with us, and produced the Native Americans. The dead giveaway is in the hair. Don't get mad, relax. <laughs> I'm not going to do nothing but tell you the truth, and I want you to check it out and call me a fool. I want you to believe nothing I said. It ain't worth it. Only Chinese and Native Americans have hollow hair. Did you know that? Did you know that they have hollow hair? Do you know that that's why Chinese can't curl their hair? We have Orientals in the town. That makes me get first-hand information. We have Native Americans in the town, the head of the Shoshone, the high priests of the Shoshone Nubian tribe there. She lives on Quebec with us. For all of those here who are part Native Americans. That's her job in the, in the town. Only Native Americans and Chinese, and that's only some of the tribes of Native Americans, have hollow hair. Don't believe me. Be amazed. Check it out. Or better yet, come out the maze and find out. <laughs> <laughs> that it was the Chinese, and they go back to the Ming Dynasty. The Ming Dynasty, the people had nappy hair. The later Mongolians got the straight hair. They mixed in with people here on this continent with woolly hair and produced Native Americans. And that's why some Native Americans look Chinese. Alrights from out in the western part of this country raped the, what they call squaw. And that's why a lot of Caucasian country boys also have falling into eyes. I don't know if you noticed it. Their eyes look like they're Chinese, a lot of country western singers. Because they're in their blood, and that's why they be cowboys, but they always have Chinamen in there. But they were marrying into them also. These are deep, now these are the, 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 the real facts. There's a whole lot of facts out there, but there's a real fact too. So people go check out. Now, some people say, I'm not sure. Don't tell me about stuff. And I'm not saying, can you prove it to me? He said, well, from what I heard, I heard a brother say, when the Declaration of Independence was being signed, some mysterious man walked in and told them, sign it. <laughs> and all of them signed it. Who's the mysterious man? We don't know. Don't tell me about that kind of stuff. Right. Don't tell me about it unless you can prove it to me. Right. I've been lied to so many times. I've been lied to in Islam. I've been lied to in Judaism. I've been lied to in Christianity. I've been lied to in the Revolution, Seven Day Adventist. I've been lied to by so many different people. If you can't bring me no facts, keep it, y'all. Keep just keep it.